Hello, my friend, and thank you for clicking on this video uh, where I am going to discuss with you curly hair, skin repair, and self-care. And yes, I know it all rhymes and I did that on purpose, but those are the three things I'm going to focus on. Last week, I talked a little bit about how beauty starts from within and telling yourself you're beautiful. And I have done that every day. And I think, you know, it's going to take more than a, a week. I think it's a very good habit to get into. So I'm going to continue to do it, but it felt really good even just for this week. So I'm, I'm hoping you guys, um, We'll follow that advice, and if you haven't seen that video, I will link it, although I only have two videos out right now. So. Um, this week, I want to follow suit and talk about another um, routine that we should get into uh, in order to improve our lives basically and to start this transformation of becoming a happier healthier and more beautiful person and my tip for this week or my challenge to you would be to come up with a mantra um, or something that's going to start your day off right um, so come up with a belief or something personally for you that you could say each morning and it's going to get your day started in the right direction, even if it's just a goal for that day and you do a different one each day. For me, um, I learned this trick in a self-development course and I came up with, I vow to see the sparkle in every person. And I use the term sparkle because, well, I love sparkles. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this sweater has sparkles in it. And you'll see a lot of sparkles probably because I like them. And yeah, for me, it's really important to feel connected, um, especially during this time when we don't see a lot of people and to see the sparkle in everyone because I do believe we are all connected and I do believe everyone has that inner sparkle. Well, some don't sparkle as much as others. Some, yeah, are hidden behind a little bit of darkness, but it's there. I believe it. We all have a sparkle. We are connected. And so, yeah, that's my sort of mantra and I actually created an Instagram account and I call it see the sparkle um, but I spell C-S-I because my daughter's name is Sierra spelled with an S-I um, and she really is my greatest sparkle and my inspiration so um, yeah that's my Instagram account but I also, uh, on the note of sparkles, I said I would review some things and we're going to embrace the sparkle today. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this watermelon hydrating mask by Coop and Daisy. Um, I said in my last video and I'll say it again, I've tried a lot of beauty products. Uh, and so I'd like to share it with you guys before you spend the money on it because you might do what I did and see this little guy in TJ Maxx and be very um, drawn to the sparkles. Uh, that being said, those of you who are really looking for natural products with a small list of ingredients and no fragrance are probably not going to like this. I am trying to follow that path, but at the time I was not on that path. However, I will say I, I do like this mask. Um, I don't know if I said it was by Coop and Daisy, but it's by Coop and Daisy. And I looked that brand up and I can't find much about it. Um, 
I don't know if it's discontinued, but I do know you can get this obviously at TJ Maxx Marshalls. And I did see that you can order it on Amazon if it's something you'd like to try. Um, it smells good um, to me. It smells a lot like watermelon, but not the um, fake fragrance watermelon. Not like a Jolly Rancher watermelon. It's like an actual watermelon. Um, and almost with a hint of pepper, it's like peppery. I don't know, it's hard, it's really unique. It's hard to explain, but it's. I think it smells really good. Again, you know, I don't know that fragrance is the best thing. And if you have uh, sensitive skin, you're not gonna wanna do that, but it's seriously sparkly. It's pretty and the sparkles wash off, obviously, but a lot of people, oh, there you go. A lot of people aren't gonna want sparkles in their skincare so if, if you don't like sparkles in your skincare you're not gonna get this but if you do and you want to try it I, I don't know that it really does anything for your skin it smells nice and it's pretty going on um, we'll give it that thank you guys for watching um, and my little uh, mantra again to end this video i, I want to try to end it on a good note so let's try to see the sparkle in everyone and i hope to see you guys next week okay i put the sparkly mask on and i look like i should be on an 80s video but um it's yeah, I, I don't know if you can tell how sparkly it is, but it does feel really good. It's a cooling sensation, and I figured if I'm going to do a video on it, I should probably show you what it looks like on. So there you have it. Thanks, guys.